just as they've been shot like an arrow, I suppose, right? They look pretty good to start here. Building a lot of phases here. And there is the try in goes Jack McRogers. And just like that, a little over two minutes into the match, and the arrows come out with the first five of the night. Line out that rolling ball is very hard to defend. Okay. They decide to go the conventional route. There is the rolling ball trying to push this thing in. And they continue the push. It spins, it winds, the body's tied up. Came out of there. It's picked back up by the arrows. They are close to the try line. You have to ground it, though. And they blow the whistle. And they say it's in. On the tall timber. Still, they keep it tight. Now comes to the back line. Lovely step. Is that ball over? Yes, it is. Try award it. Rumble again gets it away. Oh, busting free beautifully. De La Vega throws it back in field. It's a stunner. This is the Toronto Arrows at their best. Jason Higgins gets the try. The Here Arrows. And here we see the little break off the turnover. A little bit of a mismatch there. Running into Matt Jensen. Adams comes to the back ball. The sword feeds it back on the inside. Again, looking for a bit more wood over the top. There it is. Took a let. Held up, thrown back in field. Desperate defense from the Warriors. Still there, though, for the Arrows. Short. Just short of the line. The blue wave continues. Advantage. And they have advantage. Clock might beat them to it, though. The ball is on the line. It should be a try. We're going to check here. I agree with you, Dallas. Try awarded, and there it is. Yep. Try number three for Definitely the Toronto. They didn't attempt to catch that one, Matt. Here's Quatrin with the throw in for Toronto. They call him the Q. As Toronto three. drives three. off that line out with a with a ball in there. Closer and it collapses. And another whistle. Mark, you mentioned earlier that there are plenty of shifty kicks that Toronto had already put on early in the match, even before that first try. You can see they're really taking advantage of the kicks here, putting pressure into their uh, into DC's it's half. Not, and it's early days. They're a good enough team to, to have a great start, but yeah, we look to create some space around Threaten. All right, speaking of threatening, here come the Toronto Arrows again. Mieres gets it into Detroit. There's Deanna, who had a great try in the first half. He was all over the pitch. And there's a big break. Here it goes. Quattrell. For themselves, though. So here's the try. Look at that. Just carving through. That defense was left wanting. Lesage can't believe his luck. Beautiful step off the left for Toronto. They've got some good substitutions coming off that bench. There's Tuckalet. There's Higgins in at scrum half. Jason Higgins in for broad. There's Lesage. Had a try earlier. Toronto pressing forward into the try zone. Harris legend Mark, here you go with the replay. There's that ball to the ground. Not only the pick up, the half volley off the feet, but then the quick. And it's spilled and turned over. Toronto again on attack. There's Lesage. Oh, a great pass to Tukolet. Back inside. It's going to be Higgins for the try. No other way to describe this. this. Weren't they quick to pounce as well? That pass right there. Miracle pass to the number 15, Tukolet. And it was a mere formality to get into the 5 uh, position, the fly half position. Here's a good oh, break. No. Here's this your break. There it is. This should be Mr. Montero dotting one down. Here's what they've been looking for the entire second half, courtesy of Mr. Montero. A great player all around, but also the speedster. Right. But you, you, you watch guys. it. He sets up. He sets up the whole thing by taking the kickoff and holding his feet and, t and sucking in four defenders, and then he's back in support here. That's a very well-rounded, well-rounded try. All started by Mr. Montero. Owen had the ball there. Spun out, and the arrow's got a little bit of space here. Up the middle, they've got an opportunity, and they're going to take it in. 
as Tukalet takes it in for the try. Up and through the post by Taylor Adams. Here's a look back, Colin. All right, quick ball from nine. Supports there over the ball, right out to the 10. And look at that, two forwards running in there. The spot ball at the back. He's run this a couple of times. Spot ball, you got two forward runners in front. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice play, great offload there, and a give and go two. play, and they're going to take in another one here. Toronto has come out razor sharp, and nothing start for Toronto here, Colin. Yeah, another spot ball at the back, a dummy forward runner, and that was the spot ball at the back. The wing was just trailing, and then Lesage on the outside, support scores tries. He just runs on the outside, doesn't let the winger go alone, but he comes and follows him on the outside. Here it'll be triggered by Jack McRogers. Well executed, spun back by Brody. Adams gave it off now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And a nice offload there in Tukale with a nice offload as well. And the arrows on the move, and the arrows, Brody, and he is going to second effort. Wow. And go and have him make the break. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. There it is, breaking the inside opposite the 12, and then the 15 coming out the outside in support. You got the winger. Both wingers on the outside in support. And the nine, I mean, just look at that. Support scores, tries in rugby. No, it's a good I think that was Turner, it. nice tackle. Tyler Rowland. Not much materializing there. This oh. is right up the middle as Patrick Parfrey. Take another look at this whole thing. It's just a skip pass where those two runners on the inside holds that interior defense. You see the two inside, and the the internal defense launches up. In that first half, and they were inside of the five meter line in those situations. Saw 21 there for Toronto, Jason Higgins. Spin it back there, he's into the match, some speed here. Oh, oh wow. Nicely done! Oh, that is beautiful! Taken in by wow. Rogers. Two beautiful Seattle territory, but look at that spot ball at the back, splitting two defenders, now the one to beat on the backside. He pulls the defender inside, leaves the channel. First minute of the match. 31 point lead for Toronto, they give it away, and Toronto over the halfway line, can they get away, broke one tackle, and a huge chunk of real estate. Toronto, now they're back into business. A little bit of space on the outside here. Seema tried to get the tackle, they offload it to Higgins, and Higgins dots it and puts it down, and Toronto made that look very easy. We look back here at that scoring sequence. Oh my gosh, wow. look at that. What a gift. Step right through the passing lane. That's the big number eight, Diana. And he just rumbles through the big man, stretches his legs and high step it, but the support was there, moving to the outside. And look at that inside runner. A lot of times players won't fall. Faked out Seema there. And Rumble trying to rumble his way over the try line. Strong run. Right there, nothing yet. Go line, go line. It's okay, let it come. Go line. Go line, boys. There's the ball and a heavy shot. And over the line, and it is put down there. And the arrows cash in again. Gets it out to Adams. There's a crash from Pelfrey to Tukalet, Tukalet, right up the middle into the posts, and it's a try for Toronto, just like that. That's watching was behind the screen, the wing that was out the back door, but instead they hit right up the middle. They had been using those runners out the back often early. New York probably bit on that runner out the back a little too hard. Look at that, Matt. And there's Montero there on the far side against Hume, and it's no match. That's a try for Toronto. Yeah, you've got the 5'9", Luke Hume versus the 6'4", Montero. On that play, that's a mismatch. And they took full advantage of it. And there's a try just like that for Toronto. Dylan Fawcett standing there ready to rock. And there's it. Try into the try zone. And just like that, Toronto. Thought he was in position to catch it. That looks like Montero. We talked about the runners out the back for Toronto. Here it is. Bang, right out the back, little short runner, one one in hard at the line, and then that allows Montero to just... And it's charged down by Shepard on the exit kick, and it's gonna be a knock on, it's not gonna be a try, Mike Petri. Falls on it, in in goal, and so we can have a try. Yeah, try. Oh boy, this is a big turn of events. This is a number they'll keep the ball and play on. There's Adams into Ben Lesage. Ben Lesage with a burst up. He's got a man on the outside, and it's... 
a try for Toronto. Another try. And that's Mieres on the outside. And then used Mieres to the outside. So let's look at this. There he is out the back. Troy Lockyer just getting caught a bit in no man's land. All of a sudden then that opens up that opportunity for Lesage to just exploit that. Okay. And then we're over the top with a pass into Taken to the training session this week. There he is having to make a tackle on Thomas de, La, Thomas de La Vega who gets it into Montero's hands. Montero heard you, Mike Petri. He says he wants to be man of the match with that try, and that's a hat trick. Well, knows where to be, knows when to be there. Toronto now putting the New York scrum again under all kinds of pressure. Andy Ellis missing a tackle there. Luke Hume coming okay. in, can't tie the ball up, able to get their hands free and offload. And again, 62 for Adams, and the next one on the list as Ben Lesage, our, our man of the match, takes it. And can he get it all the way in? No, but he gets it to his teammate who dots it down. Toronto again. That looks like Jason Higgins. Here's Lesage, Mike. Look at him go up the pitch, looking, looking for his fellow teammates. Presence of mind. And right there, Higgins. Brody trying to dig it out. Gets it to his man. Right in the middle there by Cole Keith. Out wide now. We've got some room. Uh, nice tackle on Massage. New nice. Orleans fighting for their life here again. There's the big fella. There's Montero. There He's it got is. it. He's got it. Hits the first try of the day delivered by who else? Manuel Montero. La Pantera. Yeah, good use of the football. Here's the here's the finish, but the buildup was you know, using the edge both ways. Ball moved across the field on the right side. Nice recycle by Ross. Back Paul Mall that stagnated. Stay up, Eddie, stay up. Arrows keep pushing. New Orleans. Yeah, now, it's now it's gone again. Arrows got some momentum here now. Yeah, they've got a nice little wedge here. They're moving. Nola Gold defenders are sh sh shedding away. Watch this now. Looks like they have numbers That's outside. That's beautiful. Step back inside. That's Mirez. That's, That's Over to Montero for the try. Yeah, that's top drawer stuff. I mean, Mirez in front of them. Yeah. Watch, watch, watch Mirez's left foot step here on, boom, right there, just right by Tim Moppin. Nice play by Hanno Dirksen coming over and cover, but no one there. An equalizer. A bit of a mistake there, but that's who you want with ball in hand. If you're Toronto, charge down. And there's your answer moments later. That ball winds up in the loving arms of Mike Shepard. Without actually taking the time to look. Lincoln, you said it, Carl say, dancing a bit too much. Should have put boot to ball previously, got around Brode. And then just heads up play from the 6'4", second rower. Charges it down and dots it down, does Shepard. Same mistake. Now trying to track down a little 50-50 effort. Atlanta had numbers. And it's just an unfortunate hop. Will it be another bounce that goes the way of Toronto? Great quick work to the breakdown opportunity for the Arrows. They've got support out wide, and this is elementary. Checking a 75% percentage. You see it right here. Can I interest you in three on one? Now, fantastic stuff. Gaston Mides, the Uruguayan, unselfish, finds the offload to Lesage, but right there he cuts in. The defender there into a wide open look so far to finally welcome the Sea Wolves home. Yeah, the Sea Wolves finally back at home there at Starfire and Tuck Willa. Toronto has numbers and an opportunity here. The final layoff. And still waiting for the indication. Fans, that's a try. And it is another look here. And you take another look. Good ball outside, collected by Lesage. Then on the Levas. Levas, that final offload, and Minas does the rest. Van Voet on his shoulder, but that wasn't going to stop him. Van Voet there just a bit too late. Tries to fend him off, and realizes he's got enough to get to the. Another four meters to go. And right through, no one picking up Tommy De La Vega, and that is oh, one. We'll take another look at the try from De La Vega. Right through, no one there. Do you see the hands up from Jeremy Misalikalu? Well, who's going to get it? No one is the answer. Right through, just unofficially in this first quarter completed, and Toronto 
has been in Houston's end the most, almost the whole game, and they're trying to get into the try zone. It's Montero, and he's going to do it. The big man. It was just a matter of time if they're that close with Montero available to get the ball, Grant, and they yeah. do. You know, the Toronto Arrows had frustration after frustration after frustration, and the Sabercats might be able to say, hey, we held them out for a long time. Maybe, maybe that's a momentum swing. And it all depends on what happens behind the post. And have been so this entire first half, leaving Toronto frustrated, but it looks like Toronto going forward into the try zone. Is it? De La Vega, and it is a try. Quatrain. Yep, and there's uh, De La Vega there. Leg pump. He's got. He, yep, and he's got. Sabercats up to the task. Look at that camera work. You could see them all just being defiant in those black jerseys. Just try to force his way in. It looks like he's in, and it is Deanna, I believe, with the try for Toronto. Coming off of here, yeah, McRogers got the got the latch on, and he just keeps that ball right down low, sees the line, gets it dotted down. Not enough hands under it to keep him held up. Manuel.